Hey everybody, it's Karen from R4 Acrylics. This is a bonus video continuation from the last one because I have one 12 by 12 left. I thought I would do a flip cup and see how it turned out. Almost scooched down because my camera's up high. So uh, let's knock that out real quick. Wish me luck with the flip cup. There we go. Let me tighten things up a little bit so this thing doesn't move. All right, so it's in my container. I think I got the whole thing in there. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna take a bunch of leftover colors. I have black as a cell activator in white, and I'm going to start with, well, first I'm gonna put, well, we'll do it here. We'll layer the colors first. So I'm gonna take white, so activator and put a bunch in the bottom of this cup like that. And then we will take some colors I didn't use that sat untouched from the last video. This is some uh, metallic blue by Artist Loft. Didn't touch it at all. So let's put some of that in there. I also have some uh, pearl, this is pearl blue by Amsterdam. So let's put that on top of the blue. So there's pearl blue, save the rest. And then we have some PBO green yellow. I'll get some of that on there. These are all nice bright colors. Um, I don't know if I want any more copper. We'll do some gold. Amsterdam light gold. Like this. Mm, I don't like any of the greens with this. All right, maybe a little bit of copper. Just a sprinkling like that. I'm gonna forego the greens the sage greens in the burnt umber from the last video. We'll put in some of this pistachio yellow color. And I guess we'll do another layer. So some more blue. I need a full cup. Some more pearl blue. Green yellow. This is going to kill off the gold. And I guess we'll throw in a little more copper. I have no idea what this is going to look like, y'all. Total experiment. Remove that to the side. And take the rest of my house paint there that goes so this quart did I have a couple others I did off camera um, but this has done one two three four five this is the sixth painting so I got six paintings and this wasn't quite full um, but like three and a half cups of house paint did six paintings and I only scraped the trivet that little trivet I did in the last video. Let's give that a spin, spread it out, and see if I have clearance. It's close. I'm make sure, really sure this is stuck. Well, uh, it doesn't really want to spread out, does it? Oh, a little bit. There we go. That's good. So whatever's left in my cup, I will use for the edges, but that'll help slide things around since this is just a cup. So there's my cup. We have black, um, or I mean white as the cell activator on the bottom. And I'm gonna put black as the cell activator on the top. So cell activator, top and bottom. 
tinted house paint, basically. And, oh boy, ready? Splooge out a bunch of the black. And we'll give that a second. I'm gonna wipe off my fingers, throw on some gloves. Try to give you guys a twofer, or at least, you know, two days in a row or something. And then I have to clean up. Look at that. Oh, look at their little cells creeping out from under the cup. All right, I'm just going to lift up. I'm not going to try and drag it or anything. Wow, look at that blue. We'll give it a little lip, though, because you know. Oh, it's so pretty inside the cup, too. Let me scrape out the cup. Put some paint on my four corners. Interesting color combination. I hope I have enough paint to get there. Oh my gosh, this is going to be close, y'all. Three. Four. Ever so gentle spin. Maybe. Ah, see, it's going to take it off. I have to tilt. Yep, I'm going to have to tilt this. Right, off we go. Weighted the paints over here already, so I'm going to go for that corner and bring it down and head toward the other corner. Or maybe not. Let's go over here. Got some blank areas. So that's why I'm trying to save these cells. Because I'm gonna be able to tilt back the other way and make those more of a focal point. But first I gotta get to the corner. And try not to lose those. And we're gonna squeeze this corner together. Kind of like that. Take the one part off and then bring that back. And then head over to the other corner. I don't know, I think it's gonna be too blank in the middle. We'll see. We'll see how much we can stretch it down. And come over this way. Ugh. Man, it had potential, right? Man, it really had potential. Well, now that it's covered, let's do this. I have... I don't need... I'm going to take my cup of white. This is going to turn into a full-blown video. Um, I'm putting most of my white to save it because I'm just going to use this cup. So that's my my white. And then we're going to layer colors real quick. I know you can't see. If it just had something in the middle, this would be really pretty, right? It just It's just too blank right here. And I got a knit. That's something that's got to come out. All right. What does it say? Hold on, guys. I'm talking to my daughter. Who's it from? All right, we'll talk about it after. Don't answer her. I'm doing the same thing. So blue, green, 
I guess I can plop it right here in the middle. Blue, green, killing off the gold. I shouldn't need a full cup with all this paint on here. The gold, the copper. Oh yeah, let's throw in some of this yellow, canary yellow. Not my favorite color. So we'll kill that off. I'm loving these little plastic Dixie cups. Cause dirt, uh, you can let the paint dry and it peels fairly easily, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my uh, sage green. What the hell? Because it goes really well with that yellow. Um, a little more blue. Pearl blue. What else do I have left? I have some true sage, just a little bit. Kill that off. And, well, it's the only color I really have left is I have some burnt umber. This is good, total potpourri of colors. That's it, and then the rest of this copper on top of that, because they go to what get together really nicely. Those two, and we're gonna put black on top again, and we'll give this another go. And hopefully you have enough paint on the canvas that everything will should slide around much easier now. I just didn't have enough white the first go around. Here we go, take two. <laughs> Same deal as last time. Were you talking about her today? Oh, she can't hear me. All right, ready? That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous with all those colors. <sighs> so annoying. All right. So annoying. Just wait, honey. I'm almost done. Uh, shh. I'm bumping. See, I don't think I can really spin. Why am I bumping? Yep, I'm gonna have to tilt. All right. This is looking amazing though, so don't want to ruin this guy. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to kind of go in a circle for a second. I'm going to go off this edge. Oh, see, I like my line there for interest. I'm glad I gave it a lip. I'm just stair-stepping over to the other side and then I'll decide which corner to go for. I guess I'll go for this corner. Toward you guys. All the way, because I have a ton of paint. And then bring it back to the center. I got a bikini corner, that one far end, see it? Do I care? Nope, the rest of this is too great to worry about a bikini corner. Oh my gosh, I wish I could just leave it like this. I really do, because I love this. I kind of don't want to pour it off. So let me think a second. Slow down, stare at it. 
let's lose some of this plain stuff and just come straight down this way so we can keep some of the old because that's really that's really beautiful this is just phenomenal love all the lacing here love the change of colors so let's see if we can lose paint down here instead and just bring this down as a focal point Yep, we're just gonna kinda keep the paint in the middle. We might be able to lose that bikini corner. Yep, I'm gonna go for that, cause you know me. And then bring everything back. Let me stare, I love that one crazy design. Oh my gosh. Let me stare at this. I'm gonna flip it toward me so I can look at it in a bunch of different orientations. In one little corner. This corner looks great. I love it just the way it is, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. I do say so myself. Um, I'm going to go uh, just a little more just because now I'm worried about how much paint is on the canvas. I want it to dry perfectly. So... All right, things have slowed down a lot, so that's really great. I think I'm good. I think I got rid of enough paint. <gasps> Yay, ta-da! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Check it out. I'm just gonna drop the camera down to you and then go have a chat with my daughter because another kid's being mean to her. So, Oh my gosh, I love this. Love, love, I have a missing corner. Let me grab some paint. Missing paint on the corner. Sides are good. Yep, looking great. Don't move. Let me just try and lower you and leave you on the stand. It's wiping off my fingers. I don't wanna stretch it out any anymore. Um, yeah, it's done. So let me just drop you down like this and get closer. And then loosen this up. Can that do the trick? And then get you down like this. Totally awesome. Yay! Where am I? Just hold this up like this. That's it for me. There you go. Two videos. That wasn't a uh, short one after all. Totally worth it though, right? I'm a mess. I gotta go clean up. You guys take care and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, it's Karen. I'm back. Whoa, sunny, sunny glare. I'm gonna put the uh, camera down on my uh, countertop and we'll do uh, dried results from this video and the last one. Yeah, Ooh. it's uh, super sunny, super cold here today. So uh, we'll start with uh, the pour I just did, the dried results from this flip cup. It's this guy here. I don't think I like it like this. It's super, super pretty. I'm really, really happy with this. So happy with it that even though it's on canvas, it's a 12 by 12, I'm gonna resin it. Yep, because it's, uh, it's blingy. I'm worried that this isn't showing up on the ca on camera so well, but this is has lacing with blues and greens. It's just stunning. Um, obviously, the top part is very very striking. Uh, it doesn't look like anything to me. It's just abstract. Super happy. Maybe if I drop this down and just leave it lie flat, you'll be able to see it better. Does that help any? Kind of like that. Oh, there we go. Sorry for the jiggle. There's that one. Yep, and then we did a trivet. Oh yeah, I remember this because it went flying off. This guy here, I'm gonna try and come in close so you can see the detail. That just looks like a splash to me and then another splash. You like the hand that this means splash. <laughs> anyway, I cracked myself up. There's this guy, 
Super, super pretty, soft. I like the white in this one. And this guy is going to go in this trivet box right here, like this. I'm gonna wait a couple weeks and then give it a resin and put it up for sale. But that's what it's gonna look like. So pretty dang happy with that. And then from the last video, we did the um, blingy neutrals. And man, it turned out so great. I am so thrilled. I am pickled tink. <laughs> no way, I am <laughs> tickled pink. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need coffee, that's what I need. Anyway, it's this one here. Uh, I don't know what else I can say about it. It's, it's uh, definitely one of my best spin arts so far. Definitely gorgeous. Um, I said it before, I'll say it again. Um, balance of colors, composition, and then my favorite thing is the white lacing and then black and white and black and white and black. It all mixed up really, really, really quite stunning. So much so that I did another one off camera. And I think I'm gonna sell them as a diptych. So let me show you the one you haven't seen. Um, it has a little more copper, but it is equally um, as pretty as this guy here. Same deal, the white and the black lacing. Um, I love the pops of that, that green yellow color everywhere. It just kind of showed up randomly. It doesn't have it like the swoosh of color like this one does. Um, but it had just enough of it um, to really help uh, with the balance of color. Uh, I put them side by side. I think I'm gonna, I wouldn't hang these side by side. I would probably put this one on top on the wall and then put this one underneath of it. I'm not real sure of the orientation, maybe something like that. Let me raise my stand a little so you can see. Something like that there but they're, they're gorgeous. Those will get resined as well, and they will be for sale. I'm gonna hang them in my kitchen um, while they cure, so you'll see them in the background of future videos. And then finally, oops, I had leftover paint from that pour, so I went ahead and did a couple, just little four inch tiles. This is the first one, so same color palette. Really pretty, great lacing on that one. And that one's going to go in this little box. Right here, it's little hinged box, velvet lined, little magnet closure. And it'll go in like this, but I'm just waiting to resin it. So there's that one. And then I had, after I did that, I was down to like three colors. So I used a lot of black cell activator and I made this really, um, this one's very striking because it's like green, gold, copper, and then the black cell activator. Let's see the shimmer, very shiny. And this one is going to go in a black box here, like this. So I, I feel like this one would be a great Father's Day present. What do you think? Anyway, that's all I have. Uh, thank you so much for everything. Uh, love the comments. Keep them coming. And uh, I'll see you guys in a few days. Take care. Peace out.